In 2012, Garn Imbar et al. published an article entitled The Earliest Matches. In this article, they suggested an interpretation of ceramic and stone cylinders recovered from Yumukian Neolithic sites in the Jordan Valley as being used for fire making. They based this interpretation on ethnographic reports of wood on wood friction fire technologies. While the process of experimentation was suggested, the authors conducted no experimentation to support their findings. This project aims to test their interpretation through replication and compare the resulting performance, damage, and use wear against the ceramic cylinders in the archaeological record. Replication of the artifacts was undertaken in a manner as authentic as possible. This included starting a fire by friction using the hand drill method. The clay objects themselves were fired in an open fire pit, just as they would have been done during the Neolithic period. These are the tools for the experiment. You can see the bow at the top. Uh, that's strung with a deerskin string, which has been traditionally tanned uh, through brain tanning. That's probably the best option for a bow string uh, for a bow drill, because natural fiber strings have a tendency to tear themselves apart um, just off the friction of being used. Uh, as a bow drill string. Then there's the longer spindles at the top which are made twice the length of the archaeological uh, spindles. Those ones are uh, to adjust for the possibility that the archaeological uh, clay cylinders have been worn down through use. So on the possibility that they were originally much longer I've made some that are double the length of what the archaeological items will allow. There's shorter spindles, uh, which are made to the specifications found in the archaeological record. There's a flint-tipped drill, which is made of wood uh, and tied, hafted with uh, natural fiber string and a flint uh, drill tip. There's also a block of limestone, which was stipulated in the article as a possible fireboard. I'll be using the flint-tipped drill to start holes on that for uh, use as a fireboard. And finally, the bearing block or handhold, which is just a stone with a small depression in it that will act as a socket for the top of the spindles. As you can see, there's a variety of color with the spindles. Some of them are uh, quite white in color. Uh, that's from much more oxygen getting to them during the firing. Some of them are nearly pitch black, especially some of these small ones here, which are entirely black. The uh, there was a low oxygen in the firing for these ones. So they are fired, but they are totally uh, charred black from the firing process. This could possibly explain, especially some of the spindles have a black tip on the end, which is cited in the article as a possible uh, indication of use from uh, as, as a bow drill component. However, uh, it is possible to get blackening uh, that would look to be the result of fire making um, from just the firing process alone. My first test will be drilling one of the clay spindles into the block of limestone. The spindle uh, failed after just a few rotations. That is some of the damage suggested by the article, that they might have broken through use uh, in a very similar way. However, this got nowhere near close enough to producing enough heat to actually generate a fire before it actually failed. Also, the ends have worn down quite a bit, even after just a few turns. They're wearing almost flat if that had continued, that, that would have worn down completely flat and not maintained any sort of conical end. There's a possibility that the interpretation of the limestone blocks is incorrect, uh, that they may not have been used as fireboards, um, but it's possible they, these spindles may have been used 
on wooden fireboards, so I'm going to test one of these spindles on a piece of wood uh, that I've successfully made fire with from bow drill previously, and we'll see if that uh, produces different results. was producing some smoke, but the dust is very light. Uh, I don't think it's reaching, it's reaching a temperature that's hot enough for this wood dust to actually combust. And that's some of the wearing. And on the other end where the handhold was, it's been worn down to a rounded edge or end. At this point in the experiment, uh, I wasn't sure how this was going to work for making a fire. It hadn't worked with limestone and it hadn't worked with wood. I decided to give it one last try with a softer wood fireboard. That's incredible. <laughs> Just made a fire with a ceramic spindle and wood. Didn't expect that. Following the experiment, it seems unlikely that limestone was used as a fireboard. The ceramic spindles are simply too soft to drill into the stone. When used on a wood fireboard, a fire was produced using a replicated ceramic spindle. This likely requires further experimentation, as the spindle used in this experiment lacks the markings and striations observed on the original artifacts, but it does at least prove that fire can be made using a ceramic and wood bow drill set.